Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a Dollar General haul for you today. Um, but first my drink is iced tea. Um, I know it's a plastic cup, but I do reuse these multiple, multiple times before I dispose of them. Just wanted to put that out there. Yeah, so I went to the Dollar General. Um, most of the stuff is dollar related, which is why I thought I would do a haul for you. Just a couple things weren't, but I thought they were worth sharing. So the first thing I picked up that was not a dollar is this set of towels. And there's two of them. They're like a tea towel, so they're cotton. Not, I wouldn't say absorbent, more of a decorative. These were $3 and there was an end cap full of pet stuff. And it says, this house is filled with kisses, wagging tails, wet noses, and love. And it's for Sarah, don't tell her, for her birthday, one of her birthday presents. Um, she does decorate in the buffalo check. And I thought this was totally, totally worth $3. I mean, the quality of these towels is super nice. Very heavy um, if you wanted to use them. But I think they're mostly just for decoration. That's how we use them. So I picked up those. That. I'm going to hide it because she might come home. Um, and then in the clearance section, they still had some Christmas. And I picked up this lit garland for, um, it was regularly $8. I think I paid $2 for it. Um, and it does work. The one that I have that goes outside over my front door does not work. The, it's, and I'm really frustrated. I bought it last year at Hobby Lobby and the lights don't light this year. So I'll put that outside next Christmas over my front door. I have a plug. So I grabbed that. And then the rest of the stuff I purchased is um, mostly like dollar stuff or what we would find at Dollar Tree type quality product. All Valentine's, I believe. And I got to keep my receipts. Okay, so this was not $1. This was $2. It's a wooden and it's very thick wood. It's a wooden truck with a stand. So you paint it how whatever colors you want, and then it stands up on its own. So I thought that was super fun for $2. That's not a bad price. And it's pretty decent, you know, decent size and a nice heavy quality to it. So we'll paint that up somehow, some way, and figure out what we're going to do with that. I thought that was a lot of fun. And they have this four foot garland, but look at the, and these are puffy hearts. Let me open it up. I'm going to use these in a project I have coming up, but, um, they're styrofoam, but they're dimensional, which is nice. They're just hanging right now and they're just free hanging on a piece of twine, but they're going to go on something different when I do my DIY. And these were a dollar. Um, one of, yeah, you wanna check one of them, like not the greatest quality, but, and the glitter does fall out a little bit, not too bad, but a little fallout. But I think it's super cute to just decorate something with, you know, hang it in your kitchen. I may end up in my kitchen, I don't know. One really never knows until they get involved in it, but oh yeah, there's a lot of fall up all over my pants. Um, but I buy like supplies and stuff, and then we'll see what makes it and what doesn't make it. And then I got these two bags for a dollar, and it just says gift bag two count, and I'll show you. This one has a blue truck, and it just says loads of love. And then this one is just blue and white, stri teal and white stripe with hearts. I actually bought these for use. Um, my niece, Sarah, her two of her girlfriends wanted a cutting from my mom's Christmas cactus. And my mom, AKA Nana, to pretty much everybody in America, um, passed away in 2017 and the girls, you know, they, they grew up with my mom and knew her and loved this plant and they both have their own homes. And so I did three cuttings of the plant, one for Sarah, one for her two friends, Lucy and Riley. And I'm going to put them in these little bags and have when next time she's in town and have her deliver. Oh, look at the bottom on that one. I love details like that. Like just the bottom of the bag. Oh, and this one is this blue color. 
but these will hold the little plants perfectly. So I picked up those for that purpose specifically because I think that the girls would appreciate that. Um, guys, please, please look at this red truck. It's tin. This is actual tin. One dollar. It could be used in a myriad of ways. I saw somebody on Instagram put a burlap bow, just like a bow on here and hung it. Very, you know, very simple, but effective. So I have this red truck. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. It'll go somewhere for Valentine's Day. It may go in a wreath because you could take off this metal hanger and just set it somewhere. You could hang it somewhere. Lots of different ideas. Hi, girl. Luna would like to play. She loves her Dollar Tree toys. Go get it. She's shaking it around over there. Um, oh, so excited for these two things. First of all, let's look at this sign for a moment. Look at this little heart. It's not big. Patchwork. And this letter is raised and it's in gold. And it was $1. And I like the sizing because sometimes I want a smaller to hang. This would look really pretty on a garland. I'm playing fetch while talking to you guys. So I love that heart. You could like pop off if you wanted something more modern. You could pop off this love and do a different paper background and then put the love back on. That would work. Um, now, if you know anything about the Dollar Tree, you all have seen this sign in the bigger version and it says all you need is love with the bicycle this is the tiny top version of it it's killing me and it's it's like textured i can't decide if it's glitter i don't feel like it's glitter but there's a weird texture to the front of it but look at that is that not darling just a little tiny sign oh i love it hi sweet girl do you want to say hi to the people come here Okay, this is Luna. Luna Dog is my <laughs> quit. Is my niece's dog. She is a Chihuahua Terrier blend, we think. She's just a little mixed breed, but she's a little girl. And her mom is out buying books right now, so she's hanging out with me while we make this video. Yeah. Not my dog, but she gets along well with the kitty cats, and that's what's important. Right, girl? All right, go get your toy. I'll throw it for you. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. I just threw it. She's not listening. All right, we have a couple more, just two more things. Um, I loved these stickers. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see them. Let's see if I put this behind it, maybe. Well, not really, but better. They're um, bubble hearts, as best I can describe, but they're metallic on the back. They are raised a little bit, and they're stripes and polka dots, and I just thought, for my wall calendar at work, those would be totally adorable. Because, you know, you got to decorate your wall calendar at work, right? Ooh, sorry. And then the last thing I got, which was also a dollar, look at this. And it's an arrow and it spells out dream. I just thought that was so pretty. And this is unfinished wood. So you can paint it. Oh, this sticker. I don't understand in the year 2020 why everything doesn't come with easy peel stickers. I don't understand it. I will never understand it. The technology is there, people. Let's use it. So now I've got this horrible sticker on the back of this thing. I'll get it off and then sand it. But it says dream. And I think this is so pretty. And I'm probably going to paint it, I don't know, cream or gold and put it on my mantle. But I want it to match my decor in this room. But you could paint it any color you want. And I don't feel like this is strictly Valentine's Day. Yes, it has the heart and the arrow. But I think this can be used whenever. So that is it. That is all the things I bought at Dollar General. But I wanted to share with you because a lot of the products that they have for seasonal is a dollar or maybe two dollars, but nothing, you know, crazy. And I feel like that's awesome. And we can get dollar stuff at, at places, not just the Dollar Tree. All right, guys. Well, I've got now three animals staring at me, a cat, two cats and a dog wanting my attention. So I'm going to go take care of them and I will talk to you later. Bye.